recently spent some time talking with licensed professional counselor Alisa Bishop Becker. Now we've been focusing on grief and loss. A hundred percent of the world's population experiences grief and loss, but they don't understand how a loss can really lead to transformation and enhancement. Alisa has developed a theory that has helped her clients find new meaning and new direction for their lives. She'll be sharing that with us this morning. Alisa, thank you so much for being back with me today. Thank you <laughs> for having me, Ben. All right, Alisa, now this theory, you have developed it, mm -hmm. and it really can lead to a total transformation in someone's life who has experienced loss. It does, and uh, not everyone gets through the entire um, cycle, the entire spiral, as I call it, but it has helped many, many people find meaning through an experience that they initially thought that they couldn't survive mm -hmm. the way a lot of us do. Now, all of this theory is explained in your book, Alisa, and it's broken up into different stages. So could you kind of give us a summary of some of those stages this morning? Sure. Um, the first stage I call loss which is essentially uh, uh, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's, is based on Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's theory, which e almost everyone knows, uh, the stages of denial, anger, bargaining, um, depression, and acceptance. And what I found was, through my own experience and, and counseling others and learning about the process, was that people would get to the end of acceptance and say to me, now what? Mm -hmm. And I, we talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that what that was happening was they were realizing that they had changed through going through the process. They had changed. Their identity had changed. And what the second part of it is, is coming to terms with that change, how, the, how they've changed and what that means in terms of the direction of their lives and their relationships and um, their idea about who they are. Um, then they get, hopefully, uh, get through that part, that identity formation, which is really like going through adolescence again, as mm -hmm. we talked about last time. And find that they have changed their idea about the person that they lost has changed through that process too. And so now it gets more complex. Mm -hmm. And they find that what they need to do is reconnect. And the third part is reconnect, is called reconnection. Um, it's not linear, so all these things can be happening. Parts of these things can be happening all at the same time. But reconnection is about finding a way to, to be in relationship with the person that has been lost. Mm -hmm. And so it's really a sorting out process. What is gone, uh, which is the physical, the physical person, obviously, the roles that we play in relation to that person, mother, wife, mm -hmm. um, uh, daughter, son, father, whatever they are, those things are gone. And yet, by being in relationship with that person, we have learned, we have participated in the relationship, um, we have given and, and, and received from the relationship. What is it that we can take with us that is not gone? So what is it that's not physical that we can keep and move forward into the future with. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it is in essence. Um, it's, it's a sorting out process. And so and the, the last part of it is called creation because once we've become, once we've figured that out and we have recognized that we have changed and we have realized what it is that we can keep that not everything has been lost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we can move into the future with that and new things 
can be created out of that relationship that we thought was lost. And that really is what makes meaning from the experience. Oh, I love all of it. And, and you mean with this reconnection, too. I mean, it, it can be as simple as memories, too. Correct, Elisa? I mean, you can never lose the memories that you shared with a loved one. Exactly. You can never lose the memories. You can never lose things that they, that they taught you just from being who they were. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes um, forget that, that we think that because the person is physically gone, then the relationship is gone. And we don't always think about the fact that we were there too, and mm -hmm. we were part of that, and, and, and it was a mutual um, um, being together that, was, that, w that made it so precious to us. Mm -hmm. and, and that just because the person is physically gone, there are th it doesn't mean that everything that we knew about that relationship in memories, um, learnings, activities, things that perhaps that we would not have been exposed to had it not been for being in that relationship. And those are the value, values, the mm -hmm. valuable things that we take with us. Great. And, and this theory, again, it has changed people's lives. It's given them new meaning, new direction, and you can find more about it in Elisa's book, which you've been seeing on the bottom of the screen. Elisa, we definitely will be talking much more okay. about this subject in the future. So thank you. I really for look being. forward to coming back. Thanks a lot. Gina. Yeah. Thank you for being on today. I'm going to take a quick break, but I will return after these messages. There's much more to come this morning, so stay with me.